I'm back. <laughs> and let me tell you, that was quite a mission. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad I'm here. <laughs> I have so missed my fabulous studio space and being with you creating. I know, I had to pack up all of our things, which is quite a lot, because you know, I do have a bit of an expansive studio. Put it in a very big truck, huge truck by the way. The guys just kept packing and packing and packing. <laughs> And then we said our very sad goodbyes to our fabulous time in Palmy 31. We jumped in the car and we headed off up the road. So we moved from Palmerston North all the way up the top to Ruakaka, which is quite a distance. It's a ways. And we was held up for three days by the cyclone. We were stuck in Hamilton. We couldn't move because it was pelting with rain and the wind and the landslides and the mud and the road closures. I know it was very, very stressful, but we pushed through, we got on and we kept going and we took these beautiful final few steps and we arrived. <laughs> I know, it was all very dramatic and it took a lot longer with the cyclone. But here we are in beautiful rural Kaka and I am so excited for this next adventure. Now, I'm up to week three in our 100 days of collage and the theme is stairs or steps. I mean, I couldn't have got any more <laughs> relevant than that because it took me a whole lot of steps to get here. <laughs> And I'm so excited. Can you tell I'm a little excited? The studio is all set up and we're going to start with this week's collage. Yay! And I just can't wait, so I hope you're going to join me. Okay, so here is my stairs inspiration today. I got this image from unsplash.com. I absolutely love it. I love it because there's so many steps. <laughs> because it took me so many steps to get right here <sighs> but it is such a relief and as i look out this beautiful window i'm telling you i'm feeling the peace already finding my zen <laughs> so i'm loving this one um, i'm going to start with this today that's where we're headed i also have a brand new box from taperology which i'm a little excited about yay it came just before we left. I have some fabulous feathers for the next week's theme. Yay, some beautiful textured materials. And what's in here? <laughs> I know, I love it. I just love it. Absolutely beautiful. Look at these shapes. They are just so glorious. They're so finely cut. Oh man, that is just going to be beautiful elements for my collage yay some numbers for numbers week yes i know i may have ordered some for the 100 days of collage some fabulous washi tape in some text which i love now what's in here oh my gosh i so wanted to get these yay look how amazing they are they're incredible wax seals in the contrast color because there's a few to choose from but of course i had to have the black and white with the gold oh man i've got to do a collage just so i can put these on it <laughs> now how am i going to make that work with my theme <laughs> i'll find a way thank you no thank you fabulous absolutely beautiful some papers that are going to go really well in those colors in the neutral tones vintage looking papers that'll work yes flowers because we've got a floral theme coming up oh my lord the fabulous white paper this white paper is gorgeous and you want this any day it doesn't really matter what theme it is because this is fabulous and i like to spray these the isinks suck up so well in these beautiful papers uh, you can leave them white because they are beautiful or you can spray them any color you like. Music paper because yes, joy to the world. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it because we have a beautiful music theme coming up. Some more glorious floral. Loving it. Feeling the texture on that. Oh, yeah, that's going to work. That'll take a good rubbing. Oh, we're going to be playing. And some more flowers. Some beautiful 
floral looking butterflies and flowers yay what's in here stamps from the post yes we're doing a travel theme i know now if you want the list you can go to my website froilart.com and you can find the list on the website there email me if you have a glitch downloading it because it's a little funky like i don't know what's wrong with it but sometimes it just doesn't want to work look at that we could jelly print onto that. Yes, we are, because someone was asking me about jelly printing on fabric. So, okay, we're jelly printing on that. Probably not today, because I'm just too excited. Numbers, we have a numbers theme coming up. We have a leaves coming up and a floral theme. So I'm pretty sorted. Yes, I am. So you're going to see me using these through the next few months each time we come to a theme because in each theme I'm doing seven collages and there's 14 themes which makes like 102 collages all up. Had a little hiccup, you know, with the cyclone, but I'm back to it now. <laughs> We're back into it now and I will be in a creative frenzy. Actually, I think I might use those today. So you will see me like a crazy person in a creative frenzy. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because there will be quite a few videos coming your way as I catch up, loving that, in my own fabulous 100 Days of Collage series. Loving this, going to use it today. Okay, I am so excited that this box came before I left Palmy because otherwise it might have got lost and that would be tragic. So let's get on and do today's collage and just know that I'll be using all of these beautiful elements at some stage through the next few months. Yippee, I love it. If you go to the description under the video, there will be a discount code for Taperology and all of my beautiful items that I have will be in my personal collection. So if you want to know something that's in this magnificent box, you seriously need some of these. <laughs> then check out the link there. Oh, that's a music one. Yes. Uh, and the descriptions will be there because I don't know what they're called, but they're there and I know they're there. Yay. So let's get started. I think we're going to do an art journal today because, you know, I've got to warm myself back up again. I've had a whole few weeks break driving and facing the cyclone. <laughs> So the beautiful Judy sent me an inspiration pack before I left Palmy, and it is absolutely amazing, full of the most incredible papers. And it was just so kind of her to do that. I was actually a little teary and overwhelmed that someone would bother. And it's so stuffed full. Look at the amazing papers. I mean, I've got so much inspiration. I could just do all seven today. <laughs> Because I'm so excited by all of these beautiful art materials that I have to use. I know I do feel a little spoiled, but, ah, oh well, that's fun. I love it. <laughs> now, I'm going to use the beautiful butterflies that came out of Judy's pack because I'm feeling the metamorphosis. When you do something like move cities, change house, or change jobs, or change people, or just move in general, it can be overwhelming. There's quite a metamorphosis process, which can be stressful. It's really stressful. So I'm feeling the metamorphosis, and that's what the butterflies are. Now, she's used a serviette, and she's put a medium on it, which I think she said was glue mixed with water. And she's put that on to give it a more rice papery effect. I actually um, have done that myself. It's really fun and easy to do. I'll link a video for you with uh, this kind of mixed media technique. And because it sat together packed tightly with the abundance of papers, it has stuck together, which you can't get apart because, hello, it was glue. But look how cool. It looks way better having stuck together because it's got like this, you know, superimposed effect where you've got butterfly against butterfly. And I'm really liking that. I think it's far more interesting than having a single sheet. Just saying, I'm loving it. So I'm going to put that on, not sure exactly how. Am I going to run over two pages? Well, I might because I've got so many beautiful papers to use. <laughs> so I might. My metamorphosis might just, you know, carry on over there. 
the stairs, the butterflies, a little bit of metamorphosis. Um, I'm thinking some of the taperology papers because these colours are going to work. Maybe some of the glorious white and definitely these vintage pages. And then perhaps some of these other beautiful papers that was in the pack. Uh, because the colours are going to work. Thank you so much, Judy. Seriously. Seriously, you really made my day. It was a very, very difficult season moving like that. And it just made me feel so loved. So thank you so, so very much. This all came in her beautiful inspiration pack. Yep, I'm loving it. So I'm going to put some of that on underneath, I'm thinking. And then I'm going to put this glorious metamorphosis on top. Yes, that's going to work. And then you're going to see... A little bit of the beautiful flowers under there. I might stick that down first. I'm going to add some of this at the bottom because I'm loving the colour and the texture. And my stairs has to be quite prominent. So it's going to go on this side, probably down there. And then one of these glorious vintage pages for my fabulous taperology hoard. Ooh, maybe one of those. That colour works. That colour works. Love it when it works. Oh, that's going to... Yeah, okay. Some of those. <laughs> I'm just loving it. And I know I'm a bit excited today, but oh, it's been weeks and I get to touch all my glorious papers. Um, Judy also put some of my favourite gossamer paper in. I mean, can it get any better than that? I don't think so. So I think I'm going to use some of that and this beautiful texture paper that she put in maybe a snippet of that at the bottom and maybe if i can squish one of these taperology shapes somewhere i am loving them okay okay oh, i forgot i want some of this as well this was also in judy's pack and she's done that same um technique of putting the medium over it and that has got to go somewhere as well. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> All of that's going on the papers and we'll see where we're at. Are we looking? I'm pretty happy. Oh, just touching the matte medium making me happy. <laughs> and the beautiful papers. You know, you never know what someone's going through. So really, kindness is your best option. I was so blessed by Judy's pack of papers because it was a really stressful time going through the cyclone. And all I could think about the whole time was getting here getting to now, this moment, creating this collage with the beautiful butterflies. That's what was driving me forward and putting pushing me on when it became really scary and really difficult. So, you know, I just want to encourage you, show some kindness to people because you don't know what they're going to go through or what they're going through at the time. And it just might mean the difference between, you know, having a crappy day and not. So, you know, you just don't know what your kindness will do for somebody else. So I just want to encourage you, if you're thinking about 
being kind to someone, just do it. <laughs> just do it because you just don't know the impact that's going to have on their lives. Right, so my beautiful metamorphous butterflies are going to go on here. I'm going to take them to the top and I'll be trimming off the tops and the sides later once it's all dry. Now, I like to use matte medium in case this is your first time of watching me. Yes, I get excited. I get in a creative frenzy and I make beautiful stuff. Uh, matte gel medium is just my preferred method of doing collage because it's easy. I like brushing it. I come from a painterly background and I'm used to holding the brush and I love it. So that's what I use. You don't have to, but do I want to take that to the side and cut it straight? You know, I think I do. Do I want to cut it down there? Maybe, baby. These are the tough decisions that we now have to make. <laughs> I just did the easy part. Now you have to help me with this part. Do I want to cut around these butterflies? Do I want to cut it straight? Oh, man. Do I want to? Yeah, I don't know what I want to do. That's the thing. I'm going to cut that straight. So we'll leave that there. And we're going to have that on the edge and we'll cut that when it's dry. And you know how patient I am. I love waiting for things to dry. <laughs> and then we'll cut that there. Um, I'm going to trim that off. What am I going to put there? Oh, yeah, I wanted to put this beautiful piece on here. Okay, that has helped me make the decision. We're trimming this off. I'm just going to cut round like this. You can't tear it because it's got the glue the film of glue on it. It's like really, really plasticky. So we cut round there. We're trimming this straight. That was the decision we just came to. Hope you're paying attention. <laughs> right, so that's gonna go there. That's gonna go like that. That's going on the edge like that. Righto. This edge, how far down are we coming? Well, you know, I might trim them trim those butterflies around like this because I like those flowers that are underneath. So we'll trim off this bit, give it a bit of a rounded edge. Yay, love it. And that's gonna go on that edge and that's gonna go on that edge. On the edge. No, I'm actually not on the edge anymore. I was on the edge. <laughs> I've backed away from the edge. Right, that's going on like that. And then we're going to put some of this beautiful handmade glorious paper. And we're going to have to cut it somehow into a shape once I think about what shape I want. But it's going to come down like that and I want it to... Come over there because those splatters are amazing. And we're going to do that. All right. Does it look a plan, Stan? Oh, it does tear. Oh, this one tears. That's because it's not two-fold. That's got two layers stuck together. And that won't tear. But this one, oh, this one's going to tear. <laughs> so let's tear an edge up this way. Judy, loving your gold splatters, baby. I'm telling you. Woman after my own heart. Got to splash that bling around. So let's tear that. Put it on there like that. Yeah, I'm liking this plan. That will cut, we'll trim that. We'll have to tear that because we can't have a straight edge there. Righto. We'll add that like that. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. Don't stress. That'll work. <laughs> like that. Like that. Oh, yes. Now we'll need some more of this beautiful colour down here, I'm thinking. So let's just tear some more of this piece. Maybe we'll put some in here like this on the edge. Yeah, I'm liking that. We'll just tear that around so it's a little softer. Take that to the edge. <gasps> yes, and then your eye follows it down and around and you see the little splatters. Loving that. That's working. And if you want to get, oh, oops, I've got an oopsie there. Don't worry, it's collage. It covers a multitude of sins. We'll fix that. So we want to add a little third piece if you like the composition of thirds, which I personally do. And we'll put that tiny bit that's left over there. See? See? Fabulous. Now, what's next? Fix that. Okay. Right, so it's sticking down well. Everything is saturated. 
<laughs> I love it. I'm having so much fun. Oh, man, you got no idea how good this is for me. <laughs> Healing my soul. <laughs> now, I did make a few holes in it. That happens sometimes, especially when you're in a creative frenzy. But you can't get too stressed about that. Because it's collage. We can just fix it. We can change it. We can add something else to it. There's so many ways that you can fix little oopsies like that. We could put a piece of this fabulous paper over it. And then, and then, hello, what a great excuse to use one of the glorious seals. I mean, oh my gosh, I'm going to use these <laughs> in every page it'll work why not now which one is the hard part because they're all so beautiful i'm loving all of them let's go with this one because it's got the gold i mean they've all got the gold on it but this has kind of got the flower so <clears throat> that shape is going to work well with our butterfly shapes and we could put it on a piece of paper like that yes can't tell me that that doesn't look awesome because it does Righto, and it brings the black over to here. I've got a few more holes here that I need to fill. Where's some more of beautiful Judy's fabulous paper? Some of this one will work. Let's just add some of this into our hole filling mode. So easy peasy. I've got a couple up here that I managed to tear. That was great. So I'm going to put some of that on. That'll work. Yay. And we have this piece across here. Oh, we could use some of the Taperology washi tape. Yes, that is a fabulous idea. Let's do that right across there. I'm loving that. And that covers that whole section. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> now, I don't really know if it's going to stick because I do have a lot of layers there and some matte gel medium. So I might put some more of the matte gel medium down. Just so the poor washi tape doesn't have to rely on its own stickiness in case it's not sticky enough. Because, you know, we don't want it coming up. So let's put that down there and that'll be fun. Right there. Yes. Oh, I like this one because it's kind of transparent so you can see the layers. Oh, man. This is just beautiful. Love that. So easy. Beautiful colours. I love that transparency. I really like multiple layers in collage, as you can see. Uh, I just think it adds so much more interest. And, you know, we're not finished yet. <laughs> just, just warning you. <laughs> Now, I am putting the wax seal on with the matte medium, although I would probably use PVA glue if I could find it. I've still got some boxes to unpack, and I'm just not sure where it is. So I'll just give it extra, extra, just a little bit of extra loving. But I think PVA would probably be better to use with the wax seals. However, I'm sure you put enough matte medium on there, that's going to stick. Ah, oh, love it! just love it now what other holes have we got to fill i think we're looking okay so we might just add maybe some of the gossamer to it and then i'm pretty sure we could possibly leave it alone because it's pretty nice i do like the idea of bringing some of the black in down here in this section that could be good and you know i do love that gossamer paper that would work like that. Or do we like the thicker side? Oh, no, 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 not thicker side. Just the thin side. Like that brings the black down to the bottom, makes it more solid. And I'm thinking about it. I'm just loving that. <laughs> or else, you know, we could add the white and, you know, lighten up a little bit instead of the black. That could work too. That is really pretty. I like the white. All right, let's have a vote. The white or the black? Come on, I can't hear you. <laughs> the, the black or the white? Which one are we going to do? Hmm. I'm thinking the white. All right, 
Okay, if you insist, you know, if we put the white there, we could add one of the beautiful taperology shapes. Like, oh, oh yes. There. Or, uh, oh man, I'm liking this one. That one's got my vote. Or well, that one is beautiful. Or we could do these gate windows, like, yeah, nah, no windows. Or the gates. They look pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think so. Right, I circles it is. What do you think? Oh, they're pretty nice. Like, I'm sure I could use them somewhere else. Oh, fancy as. Okay, but I think the circles have it. That one or that one? That one? Oh, I'm going that one. All right. Original choice. Yes, that will look beautiful. And I think we're almost done. Loving my metamorphosis. I can feel it. <laughs> right, so it's all stuck down and I'm thinking it's pretty awesome. I'm really happy with it. I'm in love with these gold splatters and I think I just might enhance them a little with some gold mine. <laughs> yes, you knew it was coming. Just a little spritzer over here. Oh, yes. Oh, love it. Just love it. A few little dots that just connect the gold to the underneath layers. And I, oopsies, think that'll be awesome. Now, you know you don't have to have a panic because if it does go too much, like just then, you can dab it back off again. It'll be all right. I just wanted to add a few more gold speckles to it to incorporate the underneath papers with that glorious splatter. I just love it. And then I think we're done. So I will show you once it has dried because it's really hard to see right now because it has so much matte medium on it. But it is fabulous. I'm loving it. I just had oh, the best time creating it. Thank you, Judy, for getting me through the storm. Because I was just dreaming about this very moment and of creating this collage with your fabulous metamorphous butterflies. Yay! It is looking glorious. Righto, I'll show you when it's dried. So I'm pretty happy with how this has dried up. It's a little damp still, but it's mostly dried. I left the edge here overlapping because I just really liked it and I gave the rest of the page a nice trim. Ah, it's looking all very neat. <laughs> I'm The colours are beautiful. The papers are glorious. Here's my stairs inspiration. So the question is, is this one page or is this two? Because <laughs> it is over two pages, but really the inspiration is only one page, which is those stairs there. So, you know, I'm going to be fairly busy this week. Now, I just thought that this was particularly a little too white and I'm going to splash a little bit of copper on it just to warm it up a little bit. I think it would just look a better and it's pretty fun. Just going to put some of the copper on and then spray it with water so that it smudges around a little bit, a little bit and see how it looks. If it doesn't look any good, I'll just wipe it back off again really not very hard you have to at least try these ideas your ideas won't always work mine don't always work but you have to at least have the courage to try them yeah it's not looking too bad i like it i think i'm gonna keep on keeping on with it it's just such a nice warmer color because the starkness of the white was kind of just sticking out a bit much Whereas this is blending it in more to the other colours and I really like it. Now, of course, you can pre-paint your shapes before you stick them on. That would have been a good idea. <laughs> but I hadn't thought about it at the time. I kind of liked the fresh white. Now I don't. <laughs> so I'm changing it. But yes, you can definitely pre-paint these beautiful little papers 
I am loving the glorious papers that I've got recently from Taperology. Yay! And I've got heaps of collages to make with the themes. It's pretty darn exciting. for joining me in the very first episode in my brand new studio. I'm so excited and I can't wait to show you some more fabulous collages in this series that I absolutely love. Now don't forget if you missed an episode you'll find it in the playlist and if you want some more information and definitely some discount codes have a look in the description under the video. All the information's there and you can find the art materials that I use and definitely the link to Taperology because, oh man, you've got to get yourself some of these beautiful materials. I hope to see you in the next video because there's going to be a few coming your way. I've got some collages to catch up on. <laughs> so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you'll be notified when the next episode's up because I'm telling you, there's a few to catch up on. See you soon in my brand new studio. Yay! <laughs>